Hi, kindergarten friends. It's Miss BJ, and we're going to read a fun story today. It's called Alphabet Rescue, and it is written by Audrey Wood, and it's illustrated by Bruce Wood. So, if Audrey Wood wrote the words to this story, what is she called? That's right, she's called the author of this book. And I said that Bruce Wood was the illustrator of this book. So what did he do? That's right, kindergarten friends, he drew and colored the pictures or the illustrations to this story. And the title of this book is Alphabet Rescue. Now, remember um, <clears throat> at the beginning of this school year, I read a story about, I think it was called Alphabet Adventure. Do you remember? And the little I lost its dot. This Alphabet Rescue is written and illustrated illustrated by the same author and illustrator as that story and it's kind of the same story about that same alphabet okay so do you think it's going to be a good story do you think you're going to like it all right let's get started alphabet rescue what do you notice on the front cover a fire engine all right, let's look at the first page. I see the alphabet, all those letters, don't you? Can you see the letter that your name begins with? Hmm. Let's look at this. This is called the title page. On the title page, it tells us the story or the title of the story again and the author and the illustrator again. Alphabet Rescue by Audrey Wood, illustrated by Bruce Wood. And what do you notice on the picture here? What little letter is shown? Do you know what letter that is? F. What sound does F make? Good job, kindergarten friends. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I'm gonna scoot over just a little bit so you can see both sides. Okay, there we go. The little letters in Charlie's alphabet have worked hard all year long in school, helping him learn to read and write. As Charlie packed to visit his grandparents, his alphabet took off on a pencil. They were ready for vacation too. The little letters soared past the moon to, to Alphabet City, the place where they were made. Wow, look at them. They're all on the pencil, A through Z. How many letters? 26, very good. The next morning, Charlie's alphabet came across some capital letters with a new fire engine. They were practicing their with their big fire hoses. Let us try, please, the little letters begged. Well, okay, Fire Chief F said, for just a minute. Oh no. But when the little letters tried, the hose whipped around like a wild snake, spraying all over the capital letters. Fire hoses are for big letters only, Fire Chief F exclaimed. Go and play where you won't get into trouble. Uh-oh. Behind the firehouse, they discovered an old, broken-down fire engine. Oh, look at it. That does look old, doesn't it? Do you think it runs? Probably not, huh? 
<clears throat> little E and little X had an excellent idea. Let's rescue it, they exclaimed. All the little letters searched until they found what was needed to fix up the old fire truck. Oh, look at them just buzzing around looking for things that they need to fix it up. Wow, that's so cool. When they were finished, it looked fantastic. Oh, it does. They fixed it up. Clang, clang. Little B rang the fire engine bell as they drove away. Soon they came to some letters trying to wash a very dirty car. Ooh, that is dirty. What is all over it? Looks like mud. To the rescue, little R shouted as they turn on their fire hoses. Oh, look, they're using their fire hose to hose off all the mud. 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 Before long, they were aiming them perfectly and the car was sparkling clean. Further down the road, they heard sad cries for help. Three letters had climbed too high in a tree and they were afraid to come down. Oh no, what three letters were up there? Let's sound them out. We can use blending to sound it out. engine has ladders and nets, little Ian shouted. We will rescue you. How nice. As the sun set beyond the city, Charlie's little letters noticed an angry cloud of smoke in the sky. Oh no. Look. Little F exclaimed, the letter making factory is on fire. If the factory burns, Little X said, that would be extra bad. Children won't have alphabets to learn at school. Ooh a loud siren sounded. The capital letters were speeding down the road on their big fire engine toward the factory. As soon as they passed by, a tire blew out. The big truck spun out of control and rolled over. None of the capitals were hurt, but they were scattered everywhere. Oh no, who's gonna help put up the fire at the letter making factory? When the little letters saw that the big fire engine was broken, they came to the rescue again. Climb aboard, Capitals, Little C called. Our fire engine can fight the fire. All the Capitals hung on tightly as the little engine sped to the fire. <gasps> they saved the day. At the factory, the letters aimed their hoses and sprayed water into the boiling smoke and fire. Oh, good job. Inside the factory, inside the factory, they used their ladders and nets to rescue a new batch of little E's trapped on a burning balcony. See those E's up top? What does E say? Eh, eh, eh. At last, the fire was out. Clang, clang. Fire Chief F rang the fire engine bell. Then he announced, 
Charlie's Little Letters and their fantastic fire engine are welcome at our firehouse any time. The next day, as they rode in a parade through the streets of Alphabet City, the Alphabet Heroes were cheered by everyone. At the end of the parade, some of the new letters that had been saved from ruin spelled out a message to Charlie's Alphabet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, thank you, thank you, thank you. There's the, there's the words that we read in the story, cat and mud. The little letters returned home just in time. Charlie's vacation had ended too and he needed his little letters to help him write an important card to his grandparents. So they did. It says, thank you, thank you, thank you. The end. Wasn't that such a good book? Alphabet Rescue. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. I love you all. Bye.